Hello, party people. Hello. It's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendants. I'm here today with the Jesse James Beads project that we designed on Morning Coffee Club. We're going to do um, the leather bracelets from the Trailblazer collection. So I hope you guys will come along for the video. We're going to make two bracelets. One is going to be on flat leather and one is going to be on um, five millimeter round leather. Here we are on the mat, you guys. Um, if you've been following along with me, you know I like to do my little design. And then I will label it. So this one is June 12th, 1665. June 12th, 1665. So I got my little um, beads here. And I'm going to pull them out and get everything organized. And I'll tell you what we will be using for this project. All right, guys, so what I am using today is, this is the bead strand from JJB. It is the Obsidian Cave strand from the Trailblazer collection. And I have them sorted um, for each bracelet. So when we designed these on YouTube Morning Coffee, um, we looked at the beads, and these ones have smaller holes, then these ones are larger hole. So we decided to make two bracelets. I also have the clasp, um, the magnetic clasp. I believe this is the Southwestern one. Um, also available on Jesse James Beads. This one is a shank button. They have an array of different um, shank buttons on Jesse James. We are going to be using flat leather. And we're going to be using some 0.5 millimeter uh, round leather. Now this is three and a half feet so this is 0.5 um, millimeter we are going to be using some artistic wire from beetle on in 20 gauge this is silver i have some size six um, just clear seed beads loctite super glue highly recommend for your leather projects um a little piece of a straw and we have our 1.5 millimeter hole puncher. In addition to your normal tools, uh, what you're going to need is your round nose plier, your chain nose, you know, optional flat nose, and a flush cutter. So these are the items we're going to be using today. All right, guys, to start out, what we're going to do is we are going to take this flat leather. Now, I chose this blue one. Um, from Jesse James Beads. Just because I thought that it was going to look good with our little bead mix we got here. So I'm going to take and measure out six inches of leather. And I'm going to give us a little cut right here. Perfect. And this is a little, just the littlest piece that we're going to be using. So we are going to be putting beads on and wire wrapping them in the middle. So we don't really need that much leather. So what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to fold this in half. And I'm going to cut it right here so that they're the same. Just kind of trim that up a little bit. And now you have your two little pieces of flower, uh, for flat leather. All right. So to get started with this project, I have cut myself just a little piece of uh, 20 gauge artistic wire. And this is what we're going to be wiring our beads up onto. Um, I have our clasp, and I have just our few little beads that we're going to use for this project. But first, we have to go ahead and go in here, and we're going to have to make a few holes. So I am going to make a hole right here in the leather. 
And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put this on top of my other one. I'm going to line it up where I want it. And then I'm just going to punch through that hole. Enough so it can like make a dent in the next leather. So I know exactly where I need to put the other one. So then I just go in, punch right there in that one. Easy peasy. This one has a little lip on it I don't care for. Straighten those up how you want them. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself a Sharpie marker. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sharpie marker right on there on this little edge just so it doesn't look like it's a different color nobody's the wiser okay now that's all ready to go for us so we're going to wire up our beads now these are beads uh from obsidian cave these are the um the smaller hold beads and it came with some bronze um spacer beads so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab my brown nose and you could also use your bail making plier if you would like for this it's up to you i'm just going to use the larger end here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and start it out by shaping this wire like so. That's it. I'm just shaping it. So you get something that looks like that. And then I am going to use a spacer bead or it's like a star spacer. So I got two little bronze star spacers. Now you could use silver or you could use bronze, whichever you prefer. This is going to be a mixed metal bracelet, so it's kind of up to you. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right on here. Oh, you guys can't see me. And I'm going to put it around like this. And you might have to open up your, you know, link a little bit to get it on there. And that's fine, because it's still going to keep its shape. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close it. So just going to grab a hold of that just like we normally would anywhere wrapped loop and I'm going to go about three times and I'm going to want to make sure that I am finishing my wire in the back because this is going to be the focal so I'm just going to give it a little trim there. And there we go. So this is what we have. You have your hole in there, but nobody can see it because you got that star spacer over the top. And we're just going to put our beads on. So it's up to you how you want to do your beads. I think I'm going to go this way. You could just put, you know, all three of the obsidian beads if you wanted to. So there you go. So that's how I'm doing mine. And then I'm, I am going to bend it so it fits around the wrist like this. You don't have to be worried about this. I, I You will just bend the wire a little smidge like so can do that first if you'd like and then we're just going to attach to the other side so again 
I'm going to go way up on the plier here. And I'm going to give it a little bend. And I'm going to go around. Just to give us that shape. And it didn't make it very tight because we do still have to do this portion. And it can be a little bit of a maneuver. Oh, got on backwards. We've got to go through the back. Back of the leather, then the star spacer. Okay. There we go. Now we're right with it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to kind of straighten this loop up a little bit. And you might have to get another plier to get the whole works in there. Okay, and then you just take your beetle on snipper. Flush cutter. Go in there and give that a little trim up. Looking pretty good. Okay, now we move on to this portion. Now, originally, where's my bracelet sizer? Let me zoom you out a smidge. Here's my bracelet sizer. And originally... I was thinking this should be about a seven and a half. So right now it would be a seven and a half. And if I um, go a little more, it could be an eight. So this is not going to be adjustable. So I am going to give a little bit of a trim on these leather pieces. I'm just going to do about a fourth of an inch or so. More like a half an inch, I guess. On this side end on this side just because I want it to be about seven and a half inches of course however long you make your middle portion is what's going to affect that and then this is the easiest part of all we're just going to slide this leather we're first going to just do a practice run before we put our uh, glue on there what do we got going on here Hmm. I'm going to give this a squish because for some reason it's wanting to be real silly right now. There we go. So if you run into that problem, give it a squish. Okay. So we'll squish this side as well. Just to make sure we can get it in there. Because there's nothing worse than putting your glue on and then realizing you can't get it in there. So now what we're going to do, you're going to take your super control gel Loctite and you're just going to go right here. You don't have to use a lot, but you do have to hit the edge and then just like a little here. Because when you put it in there, it's going to push all that up, which is good. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold that 
for a few seconds till it takes hold. And then I'll do the same to the other side. Okay guys, then we let that dry. Looks pretty good. You want to make sure you don't have, you know, too much glue or anything coming out, which is why you don't want to use a whole lot, but you got to use, you know, just enough. If you do get a little on there, just try to clean it up real quick. Don't touch any other parts of the leather because it will stick and then you're going to take parts of the leather finish off. So you don't want to do that. But there we got one bracelet done. Easy peasy. I'm still letting it dry. I'm not going to um, open it up right now, but I'm still letting it dry. And I will get some pictures and some video at the end. But it's looking pretty spectacular. Seven and three fourths. So it's a little bit larger than I'd like. Um, but that's okay because that's pretty average size. Okay guys, we're going to start our second bracelet. This one is going to be um, a button bracelet. We're going to use these larger, um, large hole gemstones, which I'm pretty excited about. Now originally I was going to do this with 0.5 millimeter and I thought I would be able to run it through twice but i'm a little concerned about the safety of that so i have upped it to a point or to a point one millimeter so i am going to use this point one this one is white it's the same um three and a half feet and i'm going to start out by putting my button on So I'm just getting this maneuvered here. There we go. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take my straw. Okay. And I'm going to wrap it around one, two three. Now when you're doing this, you're wrapping down towards your thumb, right? So once you have it wrapped three times, uh, you could do a fourth if you want do four. Okay. And then you're going to take that same cord that you've been wrapping with. You're going to run it through the straw. Okay. So this is what you should have. And this is going to make a barrel knot. So uh, I'm going to take the straw out. And then I'm just going to maneuver this down where I want it to be. Because my straw is um, thicker than, say, like a tube bead or something, uh, it is going to take a little more maneuvering. But still possible, still possible. So I'm just getting that down there where I want it. Making sure it's looking nice. Okay. 
And so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of pushing and pulling on the knot to get all the slack out of it. And then once you got what you want, you can move forward. So that's what I'm going to go with. And I am actually going to hit this with a little bit of Loctite right off the bat. <clears throat> Just right here. And right here. And give that a little hot second to dry up. You don't have to do that. I just, I prefer to do it on the button side. Because, you know, the button's going to be moving and getting a lot of action. Putting it on and off. So then I just kind of, you know, wiggle with the Loctite so that the leather slides down and it kind of gets on the knot there. And then we're ready to roll. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of these clear. I just picked clear because why not? A nice neutral. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my beetle on cutter and I'm going to give this one kind of a sharpened edge. I'm going to cut it at an angle and give it kind of a sharpened edge on both sides so that I kind of have a little sharper edge to work with when I'm working with these six millimeter beads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, Three, four, five. Bring those down. And then uh, I'm not going to put any on the top here, any seed beads. Said what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take both of my strands now you're going to notice they're uneven and that's because I use three four wraps to wrap that knot with whoa and I'm going to take both and put through the large hole which I think is terminated quartz kind of looks like it and then I'm going to bring that down like so and I'm only going to push until the seed beads are snugged up. Now what I'm going to do is on this side here so that the seed beads the seed beads go are now on the bottom. I'm going to take that bottom strand, put 5 on. those down and then take the top you can see my pattern here oh mr. Bunsen you guys hear mr. Bunsen he's being really whiny today what the deal is so now I'm going to take this other bead put that on and I'm just going to alternate like that as I move through the bracelet. So I'll do one more with you guys and then I'm going to bounce off camera and I'll meet you back at the end.
So that's kind of what I got going on. Also, because these um, leathers are two different sizes now, it's easy to keep track of which one is the top and which one is the bottom as you're alternating. So I'll meet you back at the end and we'll tie it off. So here we are at the end. And as you can see, I have a little tiny wrist. Uh, mine is about six and a fourth. So this is about a seven. We'll get my sizer just to be sure. So where the beads match up, it is exactly a seven. So I'm going to make just one loop um, for this to go through so that it'll probably be about a seven and a half or a seven and three fourths inch. Um, to do that, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to tie another knot and I'm going to put this underneath and okay and then I'm going to go one two three four because that's how many we did on the first one. And then I'm going to run this through the straw. Kind of tighten it up a little smidge. And then I'm going to pull the straw off, still keeping that uh, knot. And I'm going to start maneuvering it down. And I want to be careful here. because I want to make sure that it's getting up close enough to the beads that they're not going to slide around too much and also keeping my knot shape. So again, you kind of got to push and pull to maneuver that knot into place. And you don't want to pull too much on one strand sometimes you got to get it where you need it to go. So, just maneuvering that. Get it looking kind of nice. If you don't want to mess around with this many wraps, you could do three. That's no big deal. And then, once you got that where you want it, make sure everything on your bracelet is good to go. Okay. Okay, then again, I'm going to hit this with the super glue where I got it where I want it to be. Because look what happens. If you do that knot and it doesn't work out and you don't glue it, you could go like that and then you'll have a problem. So. Get it all where you want it. And then we're going to hit it with the glue. Just a little smidgy of glue. Kind of just move that bead down so it stays there. Alrighty. And now. Kind of just let that dry up a sec. And then we're just going to tie a knot right here. Now, you could do an overhand knot with this as well if you'd like. It's up, completely up to you. So, I, don't, I just need it to be big enough where my button's going to fit through there. Two, three, four... And then back through here. Take your straw off. And again with the maneuver.
So to err on the side of caution, I kind of went really up small with my knot at first because I knew that when I pulled it out, there's going to be slack in there. So now the button should fit just perfectly. And if you wanted it to be a little larger, you could, but I wanted to make sure this was going to be a, you know, a seven, seven and a half. So there is my knot. And then I need a little more slack in there so it's easier to get on and off. This maneuvering can kind of be, you know, something else, but you got to do it. It's got to be done. And then hit that with a little bit of glue. Then to finish up, all I'm going to do is I'm going to thread on three size six seed beads. Ooh. Bring those down. Tie an overhand knot. On the other side, I'm going to put two. This is completely up to you. Tie an overhand knot. This one I want to be kind of up there a little ways, so I'm going to bring it up higher. So they're not hanging completely even. I want them to be tapered. And then I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to go in and cut this at an angle. That one was a little short, but I think it'll be okay. And then, you guys, this is our bracelet number two. Then you can just do the button clasp. Now, with all leather, these are going to stretch out just a little bit once they get um, warm to the skin. These ones, they're going to, it will stretch out a little bit with, um, you know, time and wear, but not much. And there we go. So those are the two that we made with the um, Obsidian Cave Trailblazer mix. From JJB. All these items are available on Jesse James Beads, so swing over there. Uh, use your girl's affiliate code if you want to go and make some purchases. I would truly appreciate it. I will leave it in the description box of this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I hope to uh, hear from you about what you thought of the project. Please go ahead and leave me a comment. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.